Hello there, it's Jenny, your vintage soul crafter. Every time I say that, I want to break out in the Soul Train theme song. This is Jenny, your vintage soul crafter. But I promise I won't do that every time. And especially because many of you probably have no idea what Soul Train is or was. So yeah. I thought I would check in with you all today and share these five, what I'm calling Traveler's Notebook Art Inspiration Journals. And they are, the covers are made from Target file folder dividers. They're not actually the file folders, but the dividers that go inside of a three-hole notebook or a three three ring binder notebook is what it's called, I think. And I really, I made some file folder ones for a friend that are on a previous video. And I really like the texture of these and just the fun, vibrant color. And they make, I think, pretty good um, outside parts. I don't know what that's called. The outside cover. Yeah, that's what it would be. Sorry, my light is probably going to shine off of these and hopefully that's not overly obnoxious. Anyway, so uh, yeah, these are sewn together and they are made with, I shall sh show you first, bits and pieces of things that I have. Of course, some vintage items, which you will see when we dive into them, as well as this, some of the inspiration comes from this book. I found it Ross or Marshall's a while back, Art Doodle Love. And again, I used it for the other ones that are in the other video. It has lots of prompts and things like that. Love the vibrancy of it. So those are in there. I also have in one of them pages out of this Better Homes and Gardens decorating vintage binder book that I just love. It's 1961 and you'll see those. And then also from a couple of sheets from Somerset Apprentice and Somerset Life. I know a lot of people love, love, love the... Um, Oh gosh, what's the name of that magazine? Of course, my brain is going to go blank right about now. Anyway, I still love the Somerset. I love the other one too, but uh, I really love Somerset. And then there's a couple of papers from flow type papers. They're not flow type. They're actually flow papers in them. And then also this pad from Molly and Rex that I got at Michael's. And I love, again, the vibrancy of a lot of the prints. And I also, it's cardstock, I know, but I don't know. There's just something kind of subtle, shall we say, about the way, and maybe it is the colors, not the sparkly ones, but um, some of these other ones. Anyway, I really like the, the colors of those. So moving in, I went ahead and sewed all of these along the, the binding. I may or may not reinforce with some washi tape or some binding binding tape, not sure. Because these were three ring binder folder dividers, that's a lot to say, they had little um, holes, obviously. And so when I cut them for the right size, which by the way is for, I don't know, I think it's the standard traveler's notebook size. I do not know how anyone keeps those straight. So four and a quarter by, I believe it is eight and a quarter. Yes, indeed. And I went off of this template right here, which is I think one of the Webster's pages. Yep, Webster's pages. And I used also some of the, the guts of this one on the inside. So, and so, um, yeah, they... What else was I saying? Oh, just that they had the little holes. So then I used bits and pieces of them to, to cover the holes, and you'll see that on each of them. And I personally really like that. I like the texture that it adds to it. It also helps to reinforce them. So um, that doesn't bother me. And if it bothers you, that's okay. So, okay, I keep saying so. So a needle pulling, pulling thread. And let's go back to this. Going in, each of them has a little pocket in some way, shape, or form on the inside. I like pockets. I like a little place that I can stick things. This one and all of them have it on both sides. This one is running vertically. 
The others are running horizontally. As I said, I used bits and pieces of different items that I already had as well as the things that I shared with you. A little bit of tracing paper. This page is a how to draw flowers vintage book that I have. So I put one in each of the books. I'm pretty sure there's one in each of them. And then some of this tracing paper to go with it in case, you know, you're inspired to, to trace them. Again, the Molly and Rex paper. This is from one of the Somerset Life. These are very inspirational. I try to keep intact um, the instructions, you know, or the artist or whoever wrote maybe a little bit of the article that was in each of these to give uh, homage to those people. Some plain paper, some flow, vibrant graph type paper. This is the guts of the Traveler's Notebook that I used for a template. The inside, sorry if I was not in frame, now that I've gone through half the book. This is the Doodle Art Love. So this one is learned, things that you've learned. A little bit of something that I had um, already. Some pad of paper. And yeah, that doodle art love. Some of them have prompts on both sides, but not all of them. And then you have the second half. So here's what I was talking about. This has the artist info from the Somerset Life. I think that's the apprentice one. And then a little bit of instructions to help inspire the other side of that how to draw flowers along with the tracing paper. I did test this, even though it's um, this kind of glossy paper, you can write on this with a pen and then the back pocket. So there I go again. Yeah, next one. This one, I actually put a little vintage, um, one of those called cards thingies. And this one, it says green because this one's all about color. So this one has from the Better Homes and Gardens home decorating book, a couple of pages about color in it. This is one from the Art Doodle Love. So this one says, was appropriate. What is the color palette of your surroundings? And then on the other side, it says, I sit, I smell, I taste, I see. You're supposed to describe. It's a prompt to describe what you're seeing, tasting, smelling, etc. wherever it is that you are. This is the other, the other page from the Better Homes, a flow page. This is, um, it's made from re, it's fibers from um, recycled bits and pieces of, you know, paper and this and that. And I, I love the feel of it. And this is a piece of flow paper that has some lines for writing. I loved this image. So it seemed appropriate to go with the Better Homes and Garden pages. And then the back side of everything. And of course, you don't have to draw. You don't have to trace the flowers. Here's the other side of that one. How do your surroundings affect your outlook? I feel like here, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, and so you can, you know, just journal and use it however you want. But it's fun. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to inspire. I had art in mind. But if that's not whoever's hands they end up in, what happens? That's all good, too. This one has a draw flash card. That's what those are. And again, another couple of sheets from the Somerset with this lovely quote, the moment in between what you once were and who you are now becoming is where the dance of life really takes place. Barbara DeAngelis. So I thought that was inspirational. And then it had on the back side of that, not artist related to this particular artist. So I didn't want to include that. So I just put some gesso over it. So it can be drawn on, painted on, doodled, whatever. Again, more of that Molly and Rex fun. Splashes of color polka dots from the Doodle Love. This one is garden. Imagine that you live in a garden surrounded by all kinds of plants and flowers. 
these are the people in your life. What kinds of plants and flowers do you see? Doodle collage and describe them on these pages. So again, you may want to, you may not want to. This is from the How to Draw Flowers book, which is why I included the draw. They, what they do in this book is they arrange them. They kind of show you how, and I thought at first maybe it was a flower arranging book, but it's not. It's how to draw, and so they want you to arrange them in different different heights and levels and varieties of flowers so that you learn how to draw them in all of their different forms. Again, some tracing paper in case you wanted to trace that, depending upon your level and ability. Some of that flow paper kind of goes with the Molly and Rex. And this one, if you like lists or you like lines, this one I made a little, okay, it really is a pocket, I promise. And it's not that hard to, so you can stick stuff little bits and scraps and pieces if you want to. I like that. I like, again, I like pockets and I like to keep little quotes and things to inspire me or that stand out to me. Some of the guts of that traveler's notebook, the other side of the flow paper, tracing paper, this part of the how to draw flowers, the doodle art love, and so on. The other thing with this is that you could also, if you don't like the glossy, you can take some gesso and just put a, a, a thin coat of gesso on there. And like I did with these Somerset Apprentice. Oh yeah, this one's from the Apprentice one. And that will rough it up and allow you to paint. And you can see this one has been they're all reinforced. I reinforced all of them in some way, shape, or form, whether on the top where the elastic will go or whether on the back or on the inside. They've all been reinforced. So I can see this one's, you know, still with the stitching because it's so thick. So I might go ahead and use some washi on these to, to reinforce them. We'll see. Here's another one that's got the similar kind of style and reinforcing. This one, I did a separate page of pockets instead of the pockets on the inside cover. Put some more from Somerset, from the pros, tracing paper, the flower, drawing design. Again, with the flow. Guts of the Traveler's Notebook, the glossy, some of that no, that one's not the recycled. This is some drawing paper that I had, and I left that rough edge. I'm trying to get rid of my own rough edge, but I left that rough edge. Flower power, little instructions for doodling. And these ones I did not sew together. These ones I left apart in case you wanted to doodle or use some of the dots to make flowers, as the instructions say. And then the other side of everything. And again. Flowers with a gracefully bent stem can be an aid in good compositions. So there you go. And then the other part of the article on that. And because it was flowers, I thought it, it went well and included that. And then the back side of the one with the folding. So there's that one. And then last, certainly not least, is this one. And I did like little tabs over the holes that were there for the three ring binder. And this one really has kind of a writing or doodling letters, learning how to do different kinds of writing styles. So I included the flashcard right. I'll, I'll keep looking and see if I have flashcards for the other ones. but. Maybe I'll include something extra in each of them. Flow paper, this is that recycling fiber paper. I, oh, I, there's just something about this. I wish you could feel it. This is more of the Molly and Rex, the glossy. This is uh, from Somerset. It has writing, really pretty script, uh, making bookmarks. So I included that one because in the middle of this one, is some of this, shoot, I meant to get the book for this. It has, it's a type, it's a typeset book. 
So it has all different variety and it's from, I want to say, the early 70s. Um, great Goodwill find. So I included that. And then you can, you know, if you're into lettering, then you can try these. And so that's why on, on the inside, I also uh, included this um, one right here. And then this is a doodle a day from the Love Art Doodle book, which, and then this from the Love Art on the other side. Inspiration is all around you. What simple shapes do you see right now? Sorry, I'm trying to read through the camera. Due to them on this page, take note of the shapes you are particularly drawn to. So I thought that was appropriate to go with this type font writing different um, lettering techniques. I know my daughter loves that, to do that lettering. And I, I don't know, I'm not that great at it, but I do other things. And the flow paper and the guts from the traveler's notebook and the other side of the, see how pretty that is? The different lettering to inspire because again these are travelers notebook art inspirational art inspiration art inspirational let's not make it more complicated jenny but that's what i do well that's not i talk to myself too in case you didn't notice and again a pocket on either side each one is a little bit different and was that the last one yeah that was the last one so there you have it Five Travelers Notebook Art Inspiration Journals for whomever might need a little inspiration and uses this size. I think this is standard size, but don't quote me on that because I have to Google these. It is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter folded. That I know. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you next time with another project.